Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys if you have a Hyundai vehicle between year 2010 and year 2020 guys. That will work pretty much on any Hyundai vehicle with direct fuel injection. If you guys have noise, rattle, knocking noise coming from the top of the engine, from the valve cover and mostly on the top right side, we're going to explain what can cause that and if you don't fix it guys on time, that can result into thousands of dollars in future repairs. So make sure you stay until the end, we're going to cover that today. Uh, that same design has been used in multiple Hyundais guys, for instance Sonata, Elantra, Accent, Santa Fe, Tucson, many many Hyundais guys. If you have direct fuel injection, okay we'll explain what can cause that. Now before we start, let me tell you, if you need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that, check out the link in the description of the video below and we'll share where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Something else, every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here guys this Hyundai Sonata guys okay when it runs okay it is loud you can definitely hear the direct fuel injection let's remove the engine cover and we'll explain what we removed here this is your direct fuel injection pump guys the pump usually okay you have one other part let me just put, put it in okay this is a cam follower okay it goes only one certain way come on okay we're going to put the fuel pump so when the engine turns okay the exhaust camshaft will turn and it's going to push that cam follower up the cam follower will push the fuel pump up the fuel pump will create fuel pressure and it will go through that line to the direct fuel injection so probably guys okay you notice that the direct fuel injection usually the engines are a little bit louder and you wonder why due to the fact that the direct fuel injection okay creates quite a bit of pressure it sounds a little bit like a diesel engine but uh, that's uh, that's not the case guys with extreme uh, uh, with uh, increased noise or rattle now many people guys i've heard people going to the dealerships and they say that their car is noisy and the dealership mechanic tells them okay it's direct fuel injection it's fine to have knocking no in some cases it's not guys there is a difference between normal knocking or sound coming from the uh, noise coming from the uh, pump and excessive okay knocking noise guys so if you remove your fuel pump high pressure fuel pump you will notice that this tap it underneath guys okay I think I'll be able to pull it that way because we clean it, lubricate it. You have that cam follower, okay, right here that has that wheel with the bearing, guys, on your Hyundai vehicle. At, actually, it's a pretty cool design because most of the German vehicles, Ford, they use a flat one, flat follower that gets wore out. Now, this one doesn't get wore out so often, but it does happen, guys. And it depends on what oil you use, how often you replace it, and it, repli it, it uh, actually uh, depends on how how aggressive you drive your vehicle to higher rpms will wear it out faster so if that bearing fails you develop a play that play will be metal uh, okay i just dropped ours it will be metal in metal guys okay so what that means it means that okay that metal will be amplified guys by the fuel pump and you're going to hear the noise quite a bit on the upper side by the direct fuel injection pump and in some cases it could be a bad pump as well it could be a good follower a bad pump but if you replace guys the pump i always recommend to replace the follower as well inspect it make sure that it has absolutely no play up and down sideways it's fine to have some but when you get the wheel it should have absolutely no play guys this is a very common reason for higher mileage to do that if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you next time